Uh, Karen, so I suppose it's been a good couple of months uh, you've been at the club. How have you found it? Yeah, I've enjoyed it since the second I arrived, really. I was just itching to get going as soon as I found out there was interest, and I was delighted when I signed the forms, and then I, as soon as I got down here, I was just ready to go, like I said. So it's your first experience of seeing football, I think. Have you found, the, I suppose, maybe not a step up, but the differences? Yeah, I think it's it's definitely a step up as well. I think you'd go from 23's football where it's, it's I wouldn't say you play, you're playing against ex-pros, well not ex-pros, like pros that have got an injury or a knock or something like that and they're just working their way back into fitness. So you're always getting games against good players who have been at the top level and they've had the experience. And then coming here, I think it's a much more physical side, which I had to adapt to quickly. And I feel like I've done it pretty well. I think. The first couple of games maybe it took me a bit longer than I would have liked, but I think now I'm starting to get to the adjust of the uh, physicality of it and just just really just having and just seeing that drive of like the players in the change room wanting to win games, seeing how much it means to everyone through the players, the fans, the staff, everything is just getting that and I feel like I've really gone to that lately. I say it must be difficult, or not difficult, but different when you know you go from playing twenty three football to them being out there, maybe a couple of thousand people, and you know, and every the passion, and it means a lot, doesn't it, to people? Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, the fans. Yeah, I mean, the the other night especially stood up for me against Gillingham. I mean, non stop singing, and you could see at the end how much it meant to them when that winning penalty went in. But yeah, definitely. I mean, you play at twenty three games. Sometimes it might be about. 100, 200 people there, but that's the most we'll get. And then, as you say, week in, week out here, it's a couple of thousand, so it's definitely a good experience. So, here on loan, how much input do you get from uh, Fulham, sort of, while you're here? Yeah, I mean, Fulham is, is a great club. They know they've always checked up on me after games, asking me how it's going, how I'm, how I'm doing. And they're, they're always there if I need advice. And uh, yeah, they're always on, on my case really to see how I'm getting on. Um, I know they've been to a few games. So yeah, I mean, I've got their support and that, that's another great thing to have. And we've seen you play centre back and centre midfield or holding midfield this season. Is there any preference for you where you like to play more? I think centre, centre half really is where I've played since. I started off as a right back when I was a, a nine year old up until about the age of 14 is when I really had my growth spurt. So I lost my pace as I was growing. So I think they just chucked me off a centre half because I was tall. Maybe couldn't deal with the quick strikers, but I think that as my pace come come back after my growth spurt, I think I really adapted to centre half well. Then I played centre mid a few times for Fulham this season, especially in the Czech trade games. And obviously coming here and playing centre mid as well, I've, I just enjoy playing football. I mean, wherever I can help the team out is where I'm happy to go. So last week we played at Brexham, nice for you to play back in your home country. Yeah, yeah, long trip, but yeah, I played, played there a few times. So yeah, played there in pre-season, played there at, um, at well schoolboys level against England as well. So I managed to score a penalty there as well. So yeah, but it's always nice to go back to Wales. I mean, it's not South Wales where I'm from, but North Wales is, seems like a completely different place to South Wales. But nah, it's always nice to go back. Do you have any family there watching you last week? Nah, I think from South Wales now nah, it's about four and a half hour trip, so yeah, yeah, it's a long way to go. It's just just lanes all the way up, so yeah. So my dad just listens to it on the radio and it keeps him at home. So how did the move come about to uh, Fulham? Because obviously you're not a, not a London boy. Uh, so originally I started off at the age of eight. I was um, in the Cardiff City development centres and stuff like that. Still playing for my local team, and then just in the tournaments in the summer. Uh, I got picked up by someone at Bristol City and uh, went over there for a trial and then they said yeah come back on the Tuesday or whatever the next session was and we'll have a look at you then properly in training with amongst the lads and then they said yeah they said, we really like you and it was quick as that really so it all happened quickly I mean it was a big gamble going there really at the age that I was with all that travelling, I know now you look at it, it's only like 40 minutes across the bridge to get to Bristol from Cardiff. But at that age, it was a real struggle. I mean, I had, my family were always there. Like, every single one of them, I can't fault them like, for everything they'd done for me. But um, 
yeah, that was always a big, a good experience as well. I mean, we took to it like a, like a fish to water, really. So, and then that was that. Played there for about eight, nine years. Then got the move to Fulham. So uh, you had your first experience of Kent Derby at the Gallagher on Tuesday, so you must be looking forward to yet another one uh, tomorrow. Yeah, that's my, that's my first derby as well. I mean, I mean, I've never played in one before, but I feel, I feel like I thrive on the on the pressure as well because a derby, I mean, Maidstone fans are going to want us to win, so they have their bragging rights whenever they see a Jordan fan, which is I'm glad we could give it to them. So yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow we can give them more bragging rights against the absolute fans.